Thank you, Mr. Chair. My name is Danny Steinmeier. Uh, I'm the pastor of uh, Truth Family Bible Church in Middleton, Idaho, and uh, I stand in favor of this joint resolution. Uh, the main part of my testimony today is uh, just to acknowledge that there are more things at stake than simply just education. Uh, our church does uh, face um, tangential issues related to this. However, my main testimony is related to what I believe is, is really important here, and that is the myth of neutrality. The Idaho uh, state constitution begins with a preamble, as you are all familiar with, and the preamble identifies that we are giving thanks to Almighty God for the freedoms that we have, and then the laws that come from that are recognizing that God has given us a freedom and in, in an individual uh, freedom in order to organize and to create a state and to have laws. Those laws are under God, and the Constitution acknowledges God. I just find it, I do find it interesting that a religious people in the state uh, can be taxed by a, a government that identifies uh, an acknowledgement of God and then says a, uh, anyone who has a religious affiliation organization cannot benefit from that taxation. And so that's the, uh, that's the basis for what I, I wanted to identify today. We are a people that are under God. Our, our Pledge of Allegiance identifies such as well. And so we are a religious people. There is actually no such thing as an irreligious people. And so when we're talking about appropriation of funding to supposed neutral or non-religious parties, uh, I want to suggest to you that that is a myth. We are always supporting people with religious uh, convictions. This world is filled uh, with, a, um, with a religious affiliation one way or another. It, there is, of course, competing religions, but the reality of religious organizations uh, cannot be denied, and so they should not be discriminated against solely on the basis of being a religious organization. So thank you very much. Thank you. Are there questions? Representative Gannon. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Pastor, um, it comes to mind that there are, um, are policies in place which uh, provide that uh, while, someone, while students are going to a public school, uh, there can be uh, religious a religious um, um, uh, based uh, facility across the street or nearby where the students are released to go to uh, to those facilities and and study their particular religion or engage in religious activities mm -hmm. and uh, that many of the school districts have resolved that uh, resolved that uh, issue that way in other words the the school they provide the education for the kids, mm -hmm. and then the, those who have a religious affiliation and want to um, provide some of that education have have a facility across the street at their own expense, and they provide the religion they believe in. Sure. Uh, what's wrong with that, Pastor? Well, thank you for your question. Uh, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. What I might, what I would identify is that what is taking place in the school is not irreligious. It has a religious position. And turns out things like uh, what a man and a woman is, what marriage is, turns out what um, biology is, has religious uh, elements to it. And so I, what I would argue is that not only what is taking place across the street at a particular sectarian, um, in a sectarian form, I would argue that it is not neutral in the school itself also. There are religious um, foundations, Marxism, while having an atheistic um, um, uh, underpinning, uh, it has convictions that are inherently religious by nature, whether it's opposing a religion, but it's opposing religion with another form of an ultimate, whether that's a human being, whether that's a government, uh, the, the state being you know, the form of God, if you will. And so there's, uh, everything is religious, and I would just identify that. Uh, I use a phrase at my church, uh, education is discipleship. It's just a matter of what are you discipling to, and there's always a God of the system.